ready to show a new really high quality set of these November heifers out here in front of us. Top three or four heifers, I think, uh, sure, sure have a tremendous amount of quality. Heifers a little different in their type and kind. And again, maybe it makes it just a little challenging on how you stick them in line. But heifer that wins the class, a tremendous amount of depth of rib and volume in this female. I think when you compare it to everything else out here, she really excels in terms of that. A heifer that still has some muscle and has some femininity, combines it in just a really high appealing kind of a package. Heifer that's so deep that sometimes to me almost can, she can look just a little short-sighted or a little short in her hip, but I think when you really study her, one you really have to appreciate. Heifer in second, another really high quality kind of a female. Again, a lot of depth, a lot of volume in this female. Has some angularity to her, has some eye appeal to her. Heifer really sound when you put her out on the move. I think a heifer maybe just a little plainer up through her shoulder and her neck when you compare her to the heifer that wins the class. But again, another really high quality individual. Heifer in third, really balanced, really complete in terms of her overall design. Heifer, you start trying to pick holes in her, to me, it is really hard to pick apart. Heifer, I guess, just gives up a little in terms of muscle and power, those heifers up in front of her. But again, a really a high quality female has got a lot of good to her. Really long sided, really angular heifer here next in line. Heifer that's got some length and some muscle. Heifer gets just a a little coarser up through her shoulder, doesn't tie together quite as good in her front of her rib cage. But again, I think one you really have to appreciate the length and the power in this one. Bigger frame heifer next in line, uh, really lean in terms of her condition, really angular, really sound, really functional. I guess I just like to give her a little more body, a little more muscle to go with the framework she's got today. Heifer that finishes up the class, another really good individual, female will make a tremendous cow. Again, just a little plainer about her front end and her neck and her shoulder area when you compare to those efforts up in the front of the class. But really an outstanding set here in our main show. Here are the results in class 4B. First place to entry 1565, AVF Sarah 8961 by Cody Thies of Leavenworth, Kansas. Second to entry 1571, XR Princess 1398, owned by Trent Ray, Abington, Illinois. Third to entry 1566, fourth place to entry 1569, fifth to entry 1570, and sixth place to entry 1567. Side, obviously our championship drive out here and uh, eight nice representatives that uh, certainly uh, represent the breed extremely well. Obviously some quality out here, uh, but most importantly I think the cattle have some uh, basic variables and uh, the cattle that can move, they have some structure to them, some body, and obviously uh, we get around the show ring, we definitely like some look and some eye appeal to them. The young ladies have for the wins this first division, a female here, I think has a tremendous amount of future to her. And she poses there as certainly one that uh, you wouldn't mind standing behind from a photo standpoint. Uh, really good looking, she's bigger, good in her basic build and function and kind. A female here that definitely, uh, you know, I'm not a big cat believer as far as uh, when you got some good big heifers to use, but, you know, I'm not taking anything away from her. Her day will come, and I mean that sincerely. That's a pretty good, pretty good female and certainly has a lot of good days in future ahead of her. Same holds true for that calf that comes out of that second division. You want one that's neat and cool looking. Right there she is. Certainly uh, really neat up into her front end from the shoulder there, the way her neck ties in at the top side of her shoulder. Extremely clean and neat down into that chest and brisket area. Good out of her hip from a shape and squareness standpoint as well. Stands on some added foot and bone to complement the, the look and design and pattern that she brings. The heifer that wins that third division, uh, if you folks want one with a big belly, big footed, stout, Right there's your candidate. Uh, certainly, certainly a lot of uh, just uh, mass and dimension all the way uh, in the middle part of her body. And then you get behind her. She said extremely wide at her pins. A lot of flared expression from behind as well. As we talked about her in that uh, class and division, the female for me, I'd like to take and just make her look just a notch more like a female up and through that shoulder and around her head and her neck as well. But that's getting critical on an awfully nice female that has a tremendous amount of uh, breeding potential. There's so many, so many options that you can do there with that particular female as far as that's concerned. 
Uh, the young man's head for the wins that fourth division. I think that has advantages out here in structure. I really like this female from a structure standpoint. Gets out, fills her track uh, extremely amount there. Uh, really a good amount of flex and ease out of that hawk and that rear passion covers her track. She definitely has some volume to her. Not the stoutest one that we've seen here today. Not the most attractive one that we've seen here today. And I talked about her a little bit ago from a condition standpoint, certainly borderline. But I like her added productivity coupled with some soundness. Certainly has enough look to her and enough shape for a female for me. As I talked about with these calves, the, the days will come when you have some big heifers to use. Uh, I think that's uh, what it boils down here, here today. I'm going to keep the two big heifers that come out of the last division together. They're going to be your champion reserve. Let's get these exhibitors a nice round of applause.